for Ebony Magazine. Get this shit out. Come on, get it, bro. So there you go. Okay. You too. What up, though? I got rat stuffed out of my jeans. This on TV. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Salute to the whole team. Uncle Juan, Kenobi, Messiah, Stu Dog, the rest of the fam. So this is the day after. Smack volume 11. Right. And I'm not going to go too hard on the card. Everybody else already on that. You know what I'm saying? This shit was terrible. And, and the fucked up part was on paper, when they, when they first got announced, the shit was lit for real. I ain't going to lie. Niggas, when, this, when the announcement got made, niggas was saying, Battle Rap is back. Uh, it's an independently throw card. Like, URL did everything on their own with this one. So, not only is this their first one away from caffeine, niggas was kind of just hoping, like, that they could sustain, like, the same type of quality. You know, like, we hope that them leaving caffeine didn't even look like that they was going to skip a beat. You know, that's all that we could hope. So, um, even just trying to, is, is, as far as even just ordering the event, like, niggas even having issues with just that. So, shit already was starting off a little shaky. You feel me? Hey, we smoking out the jar today. But, um, yeah, we just, like I said, with them stepping away from caffeine or, you know what I'm saying, dissolving their little uh, partnership, we just hope that it don't look like it or it don't feel like it. Or if, or if any changes, we just hope that shit would change for the better. So, like I said, it was already difficult enough just getting the event. And then, like you said, you got some niggas paying for the event, still got to watch bootlegs. Shout out to the bootleg gang. Where I watched. Um, and then, after a while, I be having better shit to do on my weekends than sit up and, you know what I'm saying? Watching this mediocre shit. Uh, we, we about to get into it, man. Bro. Volume 11 yesterday. First of all, Ace Amin and OP. Did not go down. I ain't really tripping off that. It is what it is. Ace, I mean, probably would have rapped so fast, it, it would have seemed like a couple minutes anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Let them make it up. But the way that the car ended up being by the end of the night, shit, now niggas was hoping that Ace, I mean, and OMP was on the car because the niggas that was left was there. Like, shit, niggas wish Chess would have called off sick that day because he definitely showed up sick. Nigga, um, we got Charlie Clips and Chef Trez. Like I said, on paper, all of this shit look good, but low key, if you think about it, think about it. Could we kind of see? Is this kind of our fault for not believing niggas when they show us who they are, bro? Charlie Clips ain't wrote for a battle for real in so long. Like, and then verse shift trades. You knew this was gonna be a freestyle, like a freestyle battle. Like, these niggas don't take this shit serious. Um, and Smack, we kind of needed. You kind of needed everybody to show up on point, like. This is y'all first event independently. Like, 
And this was supposed to come in and be a, a good little staple, a good way to show like we ain't need caffeine. We don't need, you know what I'm saying? We smooth. We doing our thing. <laughs> so that shit was disappointing. Tay Rockin' series, like I said, when niggas show us who they are, they're almost ready to fight, nigga, all the time, bro. Like, maybe seven out of the last ten Tay Rock battles that ended in a little scuffle or, you know what I'm saying, where we got to clear the stage and reset type shit. Like, I got better shit to do. And to sit up and watch a nigga just call another nigga a pussy for two rounds. Like, there ain't no more creativity in this shit. The battles is getting dried up. Like, the matchups is even getting dried Hold on, let me just finish this off before I get into that. Because I'm about to go in for real. Um, you got T-Top and Twerk. And them niggas homies. I didn't expect it to go this light, though. Like, I ain't expecting no... I expected them to write together and then both have a good performance. I didn't expect T uh, Twerk to, to fuck up the way he did. The way he choked and then stumbled through all of the rest of his material. Uh -uh, never mind me. Of the old T the old Twerk, like, when he when he was trying, right before he fucked with NWX. So I was like, oh yeah, this just a... They just showed us who they are. And then Hustle and Chess. Chess has showed us Time and time again, on them big stages, get that nigga a garbage bag, man. Hazmat chest. Like, that nigga can't get that shit together. And look, and y'all niggas want to keep saying it's medical. Look, until a motherfucker go get his shit diagnosed, I'm, I'm horny. you. Like... Until you tell us that it's something that the doctor done said, nigga, we not finna throw handicaps on you. No, because you keep getting your ass up there on that motherfucking stage like ain't shit wrong. You keep you keep signing the motherfucking contracts like, the, like they've been doctor approved. Like they say ain't shit wrong with you. And ain't no motherfucking doctor can help your motherfucking nerves. And they could get up there and just be nervous. That's all. Performing in front of thousands of people. It get like that. But some some shit you ain't cut for. That shit'll fuck up a whole that shit could fuck up a whole car. Not just the battle. That shit could fuck up a whole car. Like let's just say you had two good battles, the crowd into it and everything before they battle. And then chess get up there and throw up. Now it's an intermission, it's a pause, gotta clean up the stage, all of this kind of shit. Like, you breaking the flow and the rhythm of the, of the event now. <coughs> now you becoming a motherfucking liability. Ain't nobody getting no, re no return of interest on chess. Because he getting up here throwing up. He don't sell tickets no more. Niggas already know. Bet against him. That nigga might not even finish his first round type shit. That's the shit chess be on. When I said all of that to say, like, smack, this was supposed to be your first event on your own. Like, and it flopped. Like, done, dead. This shit was, this shit through. And I get it, niggas don't want to throw in the towel, niggas don't want to retire, but look at everybody else. Just take a peep around the scenes. Like, you got, uh, ARP taking a step back. King of the Dot was number two for a long time. Like, they done slowed all the way down. Like, way, way down. Uh, all of this Remy shit. Now, I ain't saying she finna be done or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, like, she done already said when Chrome came out, it was supposed to be a women's league. She done told us herself. The women not lucrative enough. That's why she done went and started grabbing niggas to come to the league. So. This is. I, I dropped this blog for the aftermath of volume 11. 
All right, the event was already asked. Cool. What do this mean going forward with ARP taking a step back? Um, and with ARP taking a step back, you got niggas like Geechee, Tay Rock, Arsenal, John John Dime, who got their own leagues. They out here looking for talent. You know what I'm saying? They'll get on the stage every now and again, but I'm just saying, like, you don't have people as dedicated to the URL as you as you once did back in the day when they was just that main staple. You got niggas looking at Riot card over URL card. Like, let some shit drop the same motherfucking day. Put my phone just on. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Phone oh, just got chatting. Put my phone on. So, out oh, there. <laughs> yeah, you got everybody. They not as focused on your shit as they is on their own shit. Like I said, you got niggas looking at these riot cards like... Shit, if, if you are real, got a card on the same day as a riot, who, who which pay per view you buy? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's getting to that point to the point where niggas don't even give a fuck what, what you are real got going on for real. For real, y'all can't promise us good product, y'all keep throwing these same eight motherfuckers in our faces. Like I said, and even most of them finna branch off. Tay Rock done hit his 50 motherfucking battles. He probably already up to 70 by now. Like, it took you this long to get to 50. You probably at 70 already. Like, just because how much they been working these niggas, man. Like, so where do we go from here, man? Once again. RBE. What happened to all of the RBE rappers if ARP don't come back? What happened to the Eel Wheels? What happened to the Rosenbergs? What happened to the Big K's? What even happened to some of the Bricks? What happened to Caution? Coach Corleone? Motherfuckers like that. Is, is this where Smack should be looking? Like, I'm going to find more talent. But, Smack, once again, it all it's all going to like snowball itself into the fact that this shit might be dead. Because y'all doing so terrible at introducing new talent. Don't nobody really give a fuck about like Holmesy, a Holmesy announcement can't, can't pop off a gnome. And that's going to be where we going to have to be at in a minute. Because all of the big names done battle each other. It ain't going to be no more battles for their asses left. And y'all gonna have to start using niggas like Ace I mean the headline. Is that when it come to? Cause y'all cause y'all fucked over easy. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't get the easy battle. We can't get no easy battles. K Shine. Can't get no shine battles. Where is A War? Can't get no A War battles. If you know what I'm saying? Like, this is where we at, man. Battle rap purgatory. You like just stuck in the middle, nigga, hoping. Like, this shit gotta, this shit gotta take off. Like, am I tripping? I can't be tripping. That shit just was proven to us last night with a whole fucking event just being ass. So I know I'm not tripping. But y'all gonna have to do something because this shit about to be done. This shit about to be dead. If y'all niggas don't swallow y'all motherfucking pride and y'all gonna have to call up some of them names and some of them names gonna have to answer that phone. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have to mend some of these motherfucking relationships if y'all niggas wanna say better rap. For real. Better GD20 and J2 cannot headline no motherfucking no. Nigga. Ocho Cinco cannot motherfucking 
Yeah, last summer Madden. Like that that's not what we doing, man. But I do want to commend Chad Johnson. I'm not gonna lie. Ocho Cinco, whatever you go by. I do want to commend the nigga for not just talking about that shit. We done heard for years celebrities interested in battle rap, the JR Riders, the Fabulous, all of that kind of shit. We done heard about it. This nigga actually spoke that shit and within what two weeks he was on the stage. So I do want to, I do want to get a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Whether the bars was there or not, hey, he he did more than just talk about it, he be about it. So, like I said, hopefully even that, hopefully it brings some more eyes to this shit. Bring maybe bring a few of them names out that been talking this whole time. Maybe they see the nigga the battle rap nigga. We need some kind of motherfucking pool. Somebody gonna have to save niggas from cause this shit. Niggas head is under the water right now, man. Or one of them motherfucking lifeguards, man. This shit drowning. 